Hi everyone, Tawny here. Today we are going to be doing a YSL bag comparison video. I ordered a few new YSL bags because I wanted to be able to try them on at home and see which style I liked. On the left, I have the small puffer. Next to that, I've got the small Lulu bag. In the middle is the YSL bag that I currently own, which is the Lu camera bag. To the right of that is the toy puffer, and on the far right is the mini Lu. So we're gonna be doing lots of comparisons, seeing what fits, and I'll do some mod shots for you as well. Okay, first we're going to do a comparison between the small puffer and the small Lulu. Both of these are in the dark beige color. I will have the measurements and the weight on the screen, but the small puffer is a little bit wider and a little bit taller. And here they are from the side. Take a look at the puffer in greater detail. So we have an adjustable strap that can either be worn on the shoulder or as a crossbody. And as you can see, it's got this very soft, smooth, puffy leather, no pocket on the back. And it's a flap closure that closes with a magnetic snap and the chain loops through here. Now let me go ahead and take out the stuffing. Inside is just one large compartment with one zippered pocket in the back. No pocket on the back of the small Lulu. Again, the adjustable strap that can be worn on the shoulder or as a crossbody. Magnetic flap closure. And inside, there are two compartments, open slip pocket in the back, zipped compartment in the center, and another open compartment in the front. Okay, here is the small Lulu and the Lou camera bag side by side. So it looks like the small Lulu is just a little bit longer, a little bit taller, and also a little bit wider. And here is the camera bag. The strap is not removable, but it is adjustable. And it is a zippered closure. And it just has a slip pocket in the back and a larger compartment there. Now we're comparing the small puffer to the toy puffer. Of course, the small is longer, it's taller, and it's also wider than the small and the toy puffer. The back both have no pocket. Now the small puffer can be worn either on the shoulder or as a crossbody. There is no option for the toy puffer to be worn on the shoulder. It's only as a crossbody. 
Here is the toy puffer. No pocket on the back. And I don't know why, but the black leather feels softer than the beige leather. Very, very soft. Okay, so again, one large compartment with one zippered pocket in the back. And here we have the camera bag next to the Mini Lou. Um, I forgot to mention that the camera bag does have a black tassel that comes with it, but that is removable, so I actually took that one off. This one has a tassel, but it is part of the zipper, so it cannot be removed. And of course, the Mini Lou is smaller in length, in height, and also in width compared to the camera bag. On the back, however, the Lou does have a little slip pocket there. And the Mini Lou has a zippered opening and inside there is just one main compartment with three card slots in the back. And this is also made with a grained leather compared to the camera bag, which was a smooth leather. Okay, let's see what fits in the small puffer. I have a full-size wallet. I have a standard size bottle of water. I have a mini pochette. I have the case to my iPhone 12. I have AirPod Pros. 
and also a travel size perfume. So, so that does fit with all of that in there and it closes nicely and it's not distorting the shape of the bag at all. So it holds quite a bit. Okay, let's see what fits inside the small Lulu. So again, we've got a full size wallet. That can fit, but it's a tight squeeze, so I wouldn't recommend that. I probably would use a smaller wallet, like a zippy coin purse in this size of a bag. Same goes for the water. You probably could fit it in, um, but you wouldn't get too much more in there. Okay, you've got a mini pochette. and the iPhone 12 case. I've got sunglasses and a soft pouch. And that looks like that would be just about what it would fit. A bit of a struggle to close it with that, but kind of have to work at it in order to get that to close. So I probably wouldn't stuff it that full. Okay, I have the camera bag here. Again, I probably would not fit a full-size wallet. I'd use a smaller wallet like my Zippy Coin. I, it probably could fit a bottle of water, but I probably would not carry that in there. If I didn't use that, that would fit a lot more things like mini pochette a travel size perfume the iPhone case airpods and also sunglasses in a soft case that can all easily fit and easily close up with still a little bit of room to spare. Okay, next up we have the toy puffer. So again, putting in a zippy wallet, zippy coin purse, a mini pochette. Mm, we'd have to go in the other way. iPhone 12. and travel size perfume and some AirPods. So those are all the items that would fit in there. Let's see if we can close it okay. Yeah, that'll close. So that all fits in there. Okay, and now we have the Mini Lou. So let's see if the iPhone 12 will fit in there. It does. I've got the zippy coin purse. It's in there. And travel size perfume. And you probably could fit maybe a card holder or something else kind of small, but not a whole lot more than that would fit in the mini Lou. Okay, so here are my thoughts. Let's go ahead and start by talking about the puffer bags. So we've got the small puffer and the toy puffer. So both of these bags are made out of lambskin. For whatever reason, the black lambskin bag is way softer than the beige lambskin. I'm not sure if there's more of a coating um, or because it's dyed that it feels differently, but this one feels way softer. Um, lambskin in general is a little bit more delicate than calf skin, so if it gets scratched, it's going to be more visible and it's going to be more prone to getting scratched than calf skin or goat skin, for instance. So I do worry in the long run about the wear and tear on these bags, especially 
with the pointed corners on the bag. I think the black is gonna show less wear and tear over time, although I do love the color of the beige, but I think on the corners, you're gonna end up seeing more wear and tear. And also I'd be worried about color transfer if you were wearing dark jeans and the back of the bag is rubbing up against your jeans, for instance. Now, these bags are not cheap. With the most recent price increase that was on May 1st, 2022, the small puffer now retails for $2,850 and the toy puffer retails for $2,150. So both bags are over $1,000. My concern with this bag is that I know the puffy, quilted, kind of pillowy bags have been in style for the last couple years. I just wonder how much longer this trend is going to last for. Um, I, I don't personally see this extra puffy, pillowy style being a classic style that's gonna be you know, around forever. So I am a little hesitant to spend that much money on a style that may you know, be out of style in in a couple years. So this one again, $28.50, $21.50, you know, both are fairly expensive. Um, another slightly annoying thing that I noticed when I was trying on the bags is that since both of them have this flap closure, you really have to align the, the lip of the magnetic perfectly on the bottom part for it to snap. So you kind of have to move it around a little bit because you can't, you know, when you're looking at it from the top, you can't see where it is. So you're going to have to constantly be kind of moving it up and down when it's stuffed. So I do worry about that and just how annoying or not annoying it's going to be. Also, I know it's part of the design, but just whether or not you like the look of the flap kind of just curling up over the edges there. Now, if I had to pick between these two puffers, I think I personally would pick the small just because of the versatility of being able to carry it either as a shoulder bag or a crossbody, whereas with the toy puffer, you're limited to only crossbody. Also, I think just in general, the puffer is a little bit more casual of a style compared to, let's say, the Lulu. So if you tend to want something that's a little bit more edgy, a little bit more trendy, a little bit more casual, then I think the puffer is a better option than the Lulu. Okay, now let's talk about the small Lulu bag compared to the camera bag. So both of these bags are made out of calfskin, so they're going to be a little bit more durable than the lambskin that the puffers were made out of. So in theory, they should be less likely to scratch and also less likely to show wear and tear and have color transfer on the lighter colored bags. Um, the small puffer still has some of the corners like the puffers, not quite as bad, but over time just has to be careful about you know, not bumping into things or rubbing it against things to have wear on the corners. You don't have that quite as much since there's not a pointed corner on the camera bag. Um, again, on the lighter corner, lighter colored leather, still have to be a little bit careful about color transfer if a light colored leather is being rubbed up against dark jeans or other clothing that's of dark color. Um, you still have some of the issues with the flap being able to connect to the bottom part with some kind of finagling on the small Lulu here. So yeah, see even now it took me a little while to do that um, versus obviously the camera bag is a zipped bag that you just pull the zipper and it's closed or you can leave it open and it's fine too. Um, I think the Lou, the small Lulu is definitely a little bit more, um, elegant, a little more dressier than the puffer. So I think this can be a good transition from daytime to nighttime. And again, you also have the versatility of carrying it either crossbody or on the shoulder. The 
camera bag is slightly more casual than the small Lulu because it's just a zippered closure. It's a camera bag. Um, the strap is adjustable, so depending on how tall you are or how, how you like to wear your bags, um, it's definitely good as a crossbody, but I have it on almost the shortest setting and it's pretty perfect as a crossbody. It would be pretty long as a long shoulder unless you're very, very tall or you just like your bags hanging very, very low. Um, in terms of capacity, I would say they're somewhat similar. Um, and right now, after that price increase, the small Lulu is retailing for $2,590. And the camera bag is retailing for $1,550. So honestly, out of the two, I would pick the camera bag. I, I have the camera bag now and I love it. I've used it many times before. So I don't know if the you know $1,400 difference is worth it to get the small Lulu, although I do like the look of it. I think it's very pretty, but I guess you just have to judge for yourself if you think that difference in appearance is enough for you to spend that extra difference. And lastly, let's talk about the difference between the camera bag and the mini Lou. So both of these are made out of calfskin. The camera bag has a smooth calfskin, whereas the mini Lou has this grained calfskin. So it's very similar to Chanel's caviar leather. The difference is going to be that the smooth leather is going to show any scratches or scuffs a lot easier than caviar leather, which is going to disguise that. This is going to be pretty much indestructible. So the price difference, the camera bag now retails for $1,550. The mini Lou retails for $1,450. On, so only a $100 difference between the two. They both have a zippered opening. The both have a tassel. Like I said, the camera bag came with a tassel, which is detachable, so I have removed that. The Mini Lou has a tassel that is part of the zipper, so that is non-removable. And the Mini Lou also has a little slip pocket in the back that the camera bag does not. The strap is adjustable on the camera bag and it is a fixed length on the mini Lou. So this is um, only a crossbody. Again, this is better as a crossbody, otherwise it would be a pretty long shoulder bag. I think the camera bag is a lot more casual, but it can be dressed up. Whereas this, I feel like is more dressy, but of course you can wear it casually too, because the chain I think just makes it a little bit dressier. The fact that it's a smaller size, it's a little dressier. So this could be used, again, casually or as a date night, evening bag easily. The amount that they hold obviously is different. This is gonna hold a lot more. So this would be better for a day-to-day -day bag if you don't carry too, too much. And this is gonna be a better for like an evening out where you just need the bare essentials like your phone, a card holder, um, some lipstick, something like that. So I actually love both of these for different reasons. Again, I have this one now and this is great for every day and it can transition into nighttime. But if I wanted an exclusive kind of nighttime evening bag, I would go for this. And I think the price point for these two are still great and still worth it. So I highly recommend those two bags. Um, the the mini Lou that I have here is in the nude color, which I like, but I don't love. It has more of a yellow base compared to the dark beige. So here they are side by side. So you can see the nude is lighter and has more of a yellow base to it. Whereas the dark beige is a little darker and it's got more of a gray taupey under color, undertone. So I think I might keep the, the mini Lou, but exchange it for a different colorway. Okay guys, so let me know which of these styles did you like best? Do you own any of these bags? And if so, what do you like about them? What don't you like about them? And also these price increases for these luxury bags are getting kind of crazy. 
Are you going to be buying any of these styles now that the prices have gone up? Please let me know down in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please click on the like button that can really help my channel out. And also please subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on future videos. I really appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye guys.